All right, on this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do complex number operations on the TI-83, TI-84 calculator. All right, on this calculator, to do complex numbers, first thing we got to do is set it in the right mode. So I'm going to hit that mode button, and if you look on my screen, I have a list. Well, I'm going to arrow down until it is blinking on where it says real. Because right now, the calculator's in the real mode. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this arrow key and arrow over once to the right. It's blinking on A plus B I. So I'm going to go down here and hit enter. And if you notice, it's now highlighted on A plus B I. Okay, now I'm going to hit the clear screen. Now, what that did, that just put my calculator into complex number mode, which means I can now do operations on complex numbers. So I'm going to start out with the first multiplication, 2y times 5y. So what I'm going to do is hit the 2. Now if you notice on that period right there, there's a little blue eye on my screen. Now it might be yellow on some of y'all's screens, but since it's blue, i got to hit the second button and then come down and hit that dot. And if you notice on the screen, it gave me an eye. Now, I'm multiplying, so my second number is in parentheses, so I open my parentheses. My second number was what, 5 by? So I hit 5. And to get that I again, I hit second, the decimal. And if you notice on my screen, it's got my 5 by. I close my parentheses, hit enter. And the answer to 2i times 5 i is negative 10. All right. My second problem, look at that. Parentheses, 3 plus 2y, and then in the second set of parentheses, 5 minus 4i. All right, watch how we put that in. I'm going to put it in pretty much like it looks. I'm going to hit parentheses, 3 plus 2. To get the i, I'm going to hit the second and the decimal, and then I'm going to close my first set of parentheses. So on the screen, I've got my first number, 3 plus 2y. Now, parentheses for the second number, and then it was what, 5 minus 4i? So I hit 5 minus 4, second decimal to get the i, close parentheses, and on the screen I now have 3 plus 2y times 5 minus 4i. I hit enter, and I get 23 minus 2 I. Alrighty. That was multiplying. Look at this. 2 plus 5i plus 3 minus 2i. We're doing addition. So let's see how we're going to put that in. We're going to put our parentheses 2 plus 5 second decimal to get my i and close my parentheses. So I got 2 plus 5i on the screen. Then I hit my plus, because I'm adding this time, and then my second number was what, 3 minus 2y, so I'll do my parentheses, 3 minus 2, second, decimal to get my i, and then close parentheses. Now look on the screen, 2 plus 5i, first parentheses, plus 3 minus 2y, second parentheses, I come down and hit enter. And if I notice, I get 5 plus 3i. Alright, let's see where we're at. Number 4, 1 minus i minus 2 minus 3i. Now, a lot of times, some of y'all forget to distribute that minus when you're doing this by hand. So, let's see if the calculator forgets that. Alright, open parentheses. And then I got 1 minus i. So, I come down here and hit 1 minus second decimal to get my i and then I close those parentheses so my first number one minus i then I come down and hit minus because I'm doing subtraction open these parentheses and my number was what two minus three i so I go two minus three second decimal to get my i close parentheses on my screen I now have one minus i minus 2 minus 3i. So what I do, I hit enter, and my answer is negative 1 plus 2i. 
Alrighty, let's see. Look at that. I got division coming up next. I got 2 divided by 5i. So, what I'm going to do on my calculator, I'm going to hit 2. That fraction bar represents division, so I hit division. And then my bottom number was 5i. So I'm going to put that in parentheses, 5, and then second decimal to get that i. And if you notice, I now have 2 divided by 5i. Hit enter. And my answer is a negative 0.4i. Now I don't want decimal answers, so I go down here and I hit math. And if you notice, option number 1 says fraction. So I go down here, hit enter, enter. And it gives me a negative two-fifths I. And that is my final answer in fraction form. Alright, let's see. We're on number six. That is a 2i divided by 5 minus 3i. Alright, so I'm going to get you all used to a new practice of mine. And that's parentheses. When I do fractions like this, I like to put parentheses around the top and the bottom. That way the calculator knows how to separate my numerator from my denominator. So on that problem, I'm going to put a parentheses, get my 2, and then second dot to get my i, and close parentheses. And if you notice, my 2i is now in a set of parentheses. Now remember, the fraction bar is division, so I hit divide. And I've now got a 2i being divided by, well, my bottom was 5 minus 3i. I'm going to put that in parentheses, parentheses, 5, come over here, minus, come down here, get my 3, all right, second decimal to get my i, close parentheses. So notice, I got a 2i in parentheses divided by 5 minus 3i in parentheses. I hit enter, and look on my screen, I got a bunch of decimals. I don't want decimals, so I do what? I hit math, it brings up fraction, I hit enter twice, one, two, and now I look on my screen and my answer is a negative three seventeenths plus five seventeenths i, and that is my final answer. Alright, so if you notice, I can do all operations on that calculator. Now look at number seven. 2 plus 7i squared. Alright, so what I would do to that, I would do my parentheses, and then I would do what? 2 plus 7. Now I'm going to get my i by hitting the second and the dot, and then close parentheses. So right now I've got 2 plus 7i on the screen. Now I'm going to square it. Now you remember this little x squared button over here on the side? Well, if I push the blue button, I get the radical. But y'all, if I just push that button by itself, look on the screen now. It squares whatever I have. Okay? So the X2 button is how you square things. Now, I hit enter, and I get negative 45 plus 28i. And that is my final answer on that. All right, so now this last problem number eight. I got 6 plus 5i divided by 6 minus 5i. So I'm going to punch it in like it looks. I'm going to do parentheses, 6 plus 5, second decimal to get that, and then close those parentheses. So 6 plus 5i is in parentheses. Then I hit divided by, and then the bottom number I'm going to put parentheses, which is parentheses, 6 minus 5 second decimal to get to i close parentheses so look what I got 6 plus 5i divided by 6 minus 5i I come down and hit enter and guess what I'm probably going to get a decimal so I'm going to turn that into a fraction by hitting math and then enter enter and if I look on my screen I now get 11 over 61 plus 60 over 61i. And y'all, that is my final answer. Good luck.